These are the cave paintings of Lascaux. There's a story within this painting and you need three elements to your story. You need a hero, a villain, and passion. I wanna to get to really the heartbeat of what matters here, which is telling stories. Because if you understand what you stand for, then the next thing that you would wanna do is how do we tell that story in a powerful way? So there is a structure for storytelling that I'm gonna give you guys. And I, I think it'd be helpful for you to think about this. Um, and this structure is something we've been using for, you know, since these cave paintings 17,000 years ago. These are the cave paintings of Lascaux. There's a story within this painting and you need three elements to your story. You need a hero, a villain, and passion. You need those three elements. So hero is pretty easy to understand. The villain is fairly easy to understand. If you're thinking about like the Hollywood movie, passion's a little harder because that's, a, that's what the hero wants more than anything else in order to take on the villain. You need that, those three elements to tell a powerful story. I'm hoping what you're getting out of this is like, I want you to tell more powerful stories about what you stand for, okay? So I wanna put this model to the test and see if you guys catch it, really kind of catch it here. So um, I may be dating myself, but I'm hoping that this reference still fits. If anybody's seen this movie, Rocky, all right? So the hero of this movie is Rocky. Who's the villain of this movie? Does anybody remember? Apollo is the villain of this movie. Yes, right on. And what did Rocky want more than anything else? Think about it. He's, a, he's uh, you know, he's in Philadelphia, wintertime. Yeah, he's got kind of a bag of bones for a coach, you know. Um, what did he want more than anything else in order for him to muster up the courage to take on Apollo Creed? That's what really is, is so great about this story. This guy was, he was a never, he wasn't even a has been, he's worse. He was a never was. So what's interesting about this is he wanted to provide a good life for Adrian. So that's great. So, so that, that's great. Cause Adrian was his, his girlfriend here. And what goes deeper than that is the fact that, you know what? He just wanted a little respect. He just wanted to be somebody. So I'm going to, I'm going to skip us ahead to, um, to a, an actual, if you guys get this model, why don't we just try it out on a brand? Um, let's, talk about, let's talk about this brand. Hopefully, hopefully everybody knows this brand, Iconic. Where else can a 45-year-old accountant strike fear in the hearts of his neighbors than firing up one of these? So Harley is a great brand because as I was saying, the the organization and the, and the target audience is very correlated on the story here. So if we were to think of Harley as the hero, Harley and, it, and its customer base as the hero of the story, who's the villain of Harley's story? Does anybody know that? Because again, you gotta, you gotta know who the villain is in your story in order to tell a good story. If you don't have a villain of the story, there's no conflict, there's nothing there. Corporate America, right on. The man, convention, status quo. Harley is railing against it, right? What is it that Harley wants more than anything else in order to muster up the courage to take on corporate America? What do they want for themselves and for their customers? Boom, freedom. That's what, that or, that's what Harley stands for, is freedom. They happen to make motorcycles. But the fact that they understand this story is why they've become a lifestyle brand and why they've been able to create a whole business around apparel. Like where else can a motorcycle company create a business around apparel? because they stand for something bigger than motorcycles. They're no longer parody. People will pay a premium 
to, to, for the privilege of owning that part of that story, helping them complete their own story through the product. My question to you all is, what is really your, you should know who the hero is. The hero is you and your cohort. You're guiding your cohort, the villain. Who's the villain in your story? And what are you passionate about? What do you want more than anything else in order for you to take on the villain? This is, this is a cornerstone of, of the pro, a brand process that I do. Hey everybody, Jessica Lachance here. Do you want more business education for your fitness studio or wellness business? Subscribe to our YouTube channel or our email newsletters and we'll see you here soon.